Hi everyone, Jared from Aloha Plumbing here. Just wanted to make a quick video about what to do to, uh, to try to protect from this weather that's coming and try to prevent you from having a freeze. Uh, these are just basic precautions. First of all, cover your outside faucets. If you don't have the fancy little foam cup thing, that's okay. Wrap um, towels, rags, uh, old underwear, whatever you've got around them and make sure it's sealed up against the structure so you're covering the entire thing a few layers throw some tape on top um, string whatever you've got to hold it on there uh, protect those up secondly um, if you're really really worried about those and you have those little foam covers and you want a little tip if you're way out and it's really really going to get cold and you've had those freeze before the little hand warmers those little packages you can break one of those put them inside of your uh, your uh, faucet cover and that'll keep some heat inside of there for a few hours uh, several hours probably and you know overnight when it's going to get really bad that might keep that hose bib from freezing and breaking inside of your home drip a faucet drip two faucets hot and cold water I recommend the furthest from the water heater that keeps the water circulating in the home it's a lot harder for that to freeze with that moving and you get a little bit of friction and heat. Uh, open the cabinet doors underneath your cabinets. Let warm air under there, especially if those are on outside walls. If you've got a tub or a shower valve that's on an outside wall, that means you're facing the shower and you look up and at the valve there and that's an outside wall that's on the other side of that. You may wanna drip that as well to keep that from freezing or you may wanna get some heat source you've got a water softener or a water heater that's in a garage, that garage will usually maintain about 20 degrees warmer than the outside. Well, if it's zero degrees outside or if it's 10 degrees outside, that's freezing in there. Uh, and this hard freeze we've got is dropped and it's held for quite some time. So that could eventually get that cold. Uh, put a heat source out there. Put a little, if you've got a little space heater, drop it out in the garage, keep that area warm. Uh, if a pipe freezes, if you have a pipe on the outside of your house, maybe um, coming into the house, you know, around here, it's common for them to uh, run lines for a water softener and it comes up and goes, you know, through the wall for the water softener. It's down low and that gets cold and it freezes. You don't have water in your house. Go out there and wave a, a hairdryer around that pipe. Turn a faucet on inside. Get it running. If you can get it back running, keep it dripping. You know, that might might keep it from happening again. Put a heater on the inside of that wall, pointing at that wall, right at it, as close as you can safely put it uh, to keep that from freezing again. Know where your shutoff valve is. In the event that something happens, know how to turn the water off to your house. That's really important. Now, don't go running out to your sidewalk right now. You may slip and fall, but just be aware. Uh, we've got really, really, really bad weather coming and, and our homes... This, we don't construct homes in this area to withstand this this type of thing. This is not normal weather. We haven't had weather like what they're threatening in you know decades, maybe maybe a century. I've heard eight, somewhere in the 1800s was the last time we've had this type of weather. So be aware of that. Do as much as you can to protect your plumbing. Um, 